So, as part of our winter review in December, we're looking at making sure that everything's good to go by next spring. So there's plenty of time. We've got December, January, February, March to brush up on the basics and make sure you go to the first tee uh, in the spring, ready to play the game and not to worry too much about your swing. Now, in the last few sessions, I've talked in depth about ball position and alignment of the shaft and the body, but we started off with posture. Now, the main source of power in the golf swing is the rotation of the body. It's the winding up, the coiling of the shoulders against the resistance of the right shoe and the face. So if my face is still and my right foot is connected to the floor, if I turn my shoulder to my throat, that rotation is where my power comes from. Of course, if my face moved or if my foot slipped, I've lost the fulcrum, I've lost leverage. So I have to have a superb sense of posture and I turn my shoulder to my throat. I'm trying to keep you, the viewer, in my sights as I turn, but you can see that I've turned my club beyond the camera and coming through 180 degrees, getting the club head to point past the camera. So that's where power comes from. And you can't rotate the shoulders if your posture is anything less than perfect. Now, it's taken me a long time, 40 years of teaching golf, to distill things down to the simplicity of prepare for balance, coil in balance, release in balance. But if your grip and posture are good and you understand shoulder coil, you've got most of the golf swing down pat, okay? If your grip and posture are good and you know how to turn the shoulders, then most of the swing is already built. Basically, if your posture is good, from the shoulders down, your torso, hips, legs, knees, feet, and weight shift are all for free. You don't have to worry. I'll just turn sideways to you and put the club across my shoulders. So if my posture is good, the shoulder coil, it makes my torso rotate, my hips turn, my weight is shifted to my right foot, my right knee has moved back a bit, but make no mistake, the right knee stays flexed. If I lean forward, the right knee will straighten a little bit more, but I wouldn't expect it to actually extend and straighten. There always has to be a hint of knee flex. A lot of people think that the right leg straightens the top. They think that great players tilted and did this. They didn't. What happened was that as the shoulders turned, the hips coiled, but we did not see an extending of the right knee. Okay, now just have a look what happens when my posture is poor. I've only got to slump a little bit and then I can't make a full shoulder turn, my legs don't work. From the top of my head to my tailbone is perfectly neutral, good posture. I turn the shoulders 90 onto my right foot and 180 through onto my left. So that's where power comes from. So simply doing the exercise, having the club across your shoulders is a good drill. Now, you know ballet dancers practice in front of a mirror, you can do the same as a golfer. You can put your feet golf distance apart, put your arms out like a letter T shape, and see if you can, keeping your face still, turn with the arms in line and back through. You'll probably find that when you do this, your arms will go out of plane and they'll disconnect. But you can see them up, uh, uh, like a wheel and the arms are extended. So look, I go back and through. So that's the rotation of the shoulders, makes the, the torso, hips, legs, knees and feet work. Before I designed the explainer training system, I used to give pupils a white roll of tape and say, so go home and put the tape on a window at the height of the top of your, the sternum. And people would do that. They'd go into the garden, they put the electrical tape on the window, the white tape, at the height of the upper sternum, and I get them to practice the T shape level with the tape. So that was a way of teaching rotation in plane. I think you can see that if I sway or if I tilt, I'm not actually creating rotational power. Okay? If I'm a swayer, my head moves as well. If I'm a tilter, my head drops. But if the head is central in the golf swing, it's because we've coiled in plane and we've released in plane. So then we lean forward to the golf ball, we do the same drill. We turn back and through. I'll turn sideways to you, show you those drills again. Perpendicular, horizontal with the floor, back and through. Lean forward, coil and release. So, when you do that workout, you'll feel the shoulder sockets, your upper arms, you'll feel your tummy working. If you're coiling the shoulders properly, you'll feel it. 
If there's any tweaks or things that make you go, ouch, then just check that your posture isn't poor. Most injuries in golf come from poor posture or a poor grip. If the grip is out of line or the body's out of line, we tend to create injury. So, there we have it. There's two or three drills for your shoulder turn. Understand the rotation is pure here. The question is, can you do this when you're leaning forward from the hips? So do those drills, work on your posture. You're going to find a number of things happen. The better your posture is, the more power you're going to create. And surprisingly, the more accurate your shots are going to be.